Do you want to know the best four barbell exercises you can do to improve your golf game? If you're trying to improve your strength and power, you've got to be doing barbell exercises within your training program. The reason barbell exercise is so important for long-term progression is we can actually load up the bar to increase that progressive overload to get stronger, more powerful, and more mobile if the exercises are correct. I'm going to show you the four best exercises that I utilize with a barbell that you can integrate into your own training. The first exercise I recommend is going to be a sumo deadlift. Now we can do many different types of deadlift, but the reason the sumo is probably one of the best is because it's a little bit of an easier position to get into for the majority of the people and isn't quite as stressful on the lower back. So all you need with your barbell, you're going to go into a wide stance. I always recommend using the rings on your bar try and get roughly the shin in line with those rings. This will feel a little bit tight in the adductors, depending on how mobile you are. And from here, you wanna make sure your top shoelace is underneath the bar. So essentially, when we go down, our shin bone will actually be touching the bar. From here, we wanna let the arms hang, but while we're feeling like the shoulders are pinned back, so we're not rounding into position. You're gonna simply put the shin bones on the bar, and push the hips back until we end up grabbing the bar naturally in that same width position of the grip. This should naturally put your grip on the grippy part, not on the smooth part of the bar. So we don't want to be close in. As we're from here, if we've kept our shoulder blades back, we should be able to essentially lock our spine into position. A rule of thumb is feeling like we're almost snapping the bar in half. As we then push out the ground and stand up, we're pulling it up into the body where we stand tall and almost feel like we're wrapping the bar around us. And then we place it back into the exact same position as we've just done. This is then gonna help really strengthen up those glutes, the hamstrings, the back muscles and the grip. So we're working a whole body exercise, getting as strong as possible from the ground up. I would always recommend working no more than six reps and trying to progress the weight over the coming weeks. In this next exercise, we're gonna focus on a rotational power movement. And this is good for rotational force, but also great for hip and thoracic spine mobility. All you're gonna need is take it into a landmine position. You can wedge this up against something so it's more stable, and you're gonna have a little bit of weight on the bar. You don't wanna to go too heavy for this because we need to move the bar pretty fast. I'm gonna take the grip position, and we're gonna go into a golf posture. From here, I'm gonna bring one leg slightly behind me, so I'm in a staggered stance and I'm gonna rotate into my front hip. So with my right leg at the front, I'm gonna now turn into my right hip. You can see how I've fully turned my chest, I've fully rotated my shoulders, and I've turned and loaded into my hip. From here, we're gonna then explode it out the ground. So I'm looking to go down and then drive out the floor with both my legs and pulling the bar. We're gonna do this really explosively and really quickly like this. There, explode. In this next exercise, we're gonna focus more on a strength movement that is about mobility. So we're gonna be using the weight of the bar to stretch us into a bigger range of motion in thoracic rotation. This is quite an advanced mobility exercise and we don't need, necessarily need to use an Olympic bar. You can use a smaller bar that weighs less, which will help getting into position. Now getting into position, we want to be able to go into like a front rack position. So this can be quite stressful on the hands and wrists if you're not used to that movement but if you find it a bit easier, you can go into a crossover front rack position. So we're gonna take the bar, it's easier to start in a two kneeling, and I'm gonna put it into my front rack position and go into a half kneeling position. So one foot forward, try and get it straight, try and get the knee in line with the foot. Whichever leg's at the front, we're then going to rotate into the hip. So in a controlled manner, as you can see, I'm twisting my spine, so I'm rotating my rib cage and the weight of the bar is actually allowing me to rotate further and stretching me more, and I'm having to now use core stability. Because of the imbalance of the bar slightly, this challenges the whole body more than if it was just to use a dumbbell or some other type of weight to create the same motion. Roughly focus on around six reps each side. The final exercise is gonna focus on upper body strength and explosive power. We're doing this in the pushing motion, so we're predominantly getting this through the shoulder and the pec. This is gonna be key to club head speed potential. We're gonna go into a landmine setup, but you're gonna definitely need to wedge this up against something, otherwise the bar will move, unlike the rotation motion. We're gonna go into feet roughly, hip to shoulder width apart, holding the landmine in one hand. As we go down, we're gonna almost squat a little bit down and bring the landmine closer into the body. When we do this, we're then gonna physically jump 
and land and push, okay? So if I do this in one motion, I go down, I jump, and as I'm jumping, I'm creating momentum to then push and lock out that position. And you see how I'm then end up in this split stance motion. Now, because this is power, trying to do this at maximum intensity, we're gonna do five or six each side of utilizing a good weight. So we wanna look at it like this. If you found these exercises useful and you'd like to understand how they can transfer to the golf swing and what areas of the body they're working, you can access my golf fitness app online via the link here for more routines to help improve your golf game.